leaking in the valley. <coughs> we'll show you why it leaks in a minute. All right, this is classic. Happens, happens a lot. People that just don't give a crap. Um, this is what they, they stopped this three tap shingle. Have a valley right here and they stopped it right there. Right in the middle of the valley that ran short on the shingle. What they did here was they took their, the, another shingle and they just overlapped just like that. They just overlapped that shingle and let it run like that. And that's still, still upside down, but yeah. And they overlapped like that and instead of running the full shingle all the way across. What really should be done minimal is cut this back like that and put two tabs solid over there. And that's not what they did, and that's why both of these valleys have been leaking. Another spot, same thing. Got a three-tab shingle. They stopped it short of the top of the shingle that goes that way. Got a shingle that goes that way. This one has to cross that top. I, I like to cross them a couple inches. Any roofer knows that this is an improper way to run a valley. Watch this. What they've done here is you got a three-tab shingle. One, two, three. It's three feet long. And... Um, their shingle started there and it stopped here and this is coming into the valley right there so they nailed it nailed it and overlapped it right here knowing that this is what you end up with on the underside is that right there that's the leak that's your leaks every time the I mean, water shouldn't be getting to there so that's the kind of leaks you end up getting or creating every time you do that now they did it here and then keep looking keep looking because I'm going to peel this back. Now, excuse the camera. I'm holding it myself. Hey, Billy. Come here a minute, will you, buddy? Let me show something here, okay? We've got this shingle here that goes across here. We hold this camera so they can see what I'm doing. Okay. I'll tell them what's going on. Make sure you get plenty to look at. Now, this shingle here, it does go across just like it's supposed to. It sure does. But then watch what's going to happen here. When I get back to the other side. Watch what's going to happen. And what they did. And you might even tell it already. I'm sure a good roofer could. Okay, look at this. See that shingle? They put one single tab here. Right here. That one single tab. Okay, and what happens is it stops right in the valley, which creates leaks here. These are all leaks. Now, as it goes down, it keeps being a leak. It just keeps on being a leak. And it works its way down. It's leaked, it's leaked. And you can see again here, it's another overlap. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope this doesn't happen to you on your roof. That's going to be a great match. All right, well, we're, we're putting back these two valleys, except we're going to put them back right. They had a mess here. We're not going to let that happen. All of ours will overlap each other. You'll have a new darker shingle, but it's only because these shingles that are on here are eight years old. They're probably the same color just eight yes. years ago. And the proper way is to run across. Every shingle has to cross the other shingle. Every shingle crosses the other one. How to run a Valley 101. From 
from here, from right here to over here is about a foot and a half. And then you got another foot right there, so that's two and a half feet. That automatically tells you you need two full tabs and a piece of a shingle to finish that out. So therefore, you can cut two full tabs and a piece, what happens? Yes, when it butts over there, it passes the one you just crossed. I always want to pass this one you just crossed right here. I always want to come past that. Now this one here, you can see that's less than 12 inches, and you know that is uh, 12 inches. So that piece right there is one and a piece. So you take your three foot shingle, and you need one and a piece. Pretty simple just to go ahead and cut it. Oops, send it to your man. Go ahead and put it in position. As long as it comes up to the top of that piece or crosses it, you're good. The next one I can see is two and a half pieces again. Pretty simple. Give them a two and a half piece. And we're good. Come right across the top. There you go. Beautiful. key to a good valley is getting your laps to cross over. Here's what some of your neighbors are saying about Bruce Roofing and Home Repair. They were very professional and did a good job in a timely manner. It went perfectly without a single problem. We got it done on a, in a deadline that I needed and I ended up selling my house in two weeks. I actually got another project lined up for them to come look at and quote me on. I would have no trouble recommending Drew to my friends and family. Hello, I'm Drew with Drew's Roofing and Home Repair.com. We have been in the residential roofing and home repair business for over 20 years in Wilmington and Brunswick County. We will give you an honest job for a fair price.